A hopeless, run-down piece of real estate? Not too fast to judge now. This was last year. This is today. It's not Gone with the Wind's Terra, but it is Madison County's Green Lawn. Built in 1850, Green Lawn was abandoned and left for ruin until a year ago, when Atnip Construction decided to save her. Huntsville educator Cecil Fain remembers well this antebellum mansion near Meridianville. This afternoon, he paid a nostalgic visit. At age 94, Mr. Fain recalls not only the glory days of the house, but a popular tennis court on the property. Green Lawn's owner was an avid tennis buff. He built a clay court and started Hog Meadow Tennis Club, so named by one of the members. Outside our court, pigs were roaming around and eating. And, uh, Just country pigs. That's right. Yeah. And so he named it the, the Hog Meadow Tennis Club. We were members of the American Lawn Tennis Association. Except for the cold days of winter, the Hog Meadow Club was an active gathering spot for Mr. Fain, who was an accomplished tennis player. That players were waiting on us to come up, played the daytime those days. And they saw us get out, and we thought, they thought we were the boys' dads coming to see the match. And when they saw us open up our trunks and start getting our togs out, you should have seen their faces. <laughs> boy, boy, boy. But, but you know, we beat them eight to one. Is that right? <laughs> After 40 years, it's hard to tell exactly where those tennis courts were, but Mr. Fain thinks they were right about there. Tennis, anyone? Hello, Mr. Fain. Welcome to Green Lawn. Thank you, sir. Thank you there are much. no plans to resurrect Mr. Fain's Hog Metal Tennis Club, but the neighboring Green Lawn Mansion is just 90 days from completion. What a better difference from the last time you've seen it. That's Hart Pine. It was sawed right here on the job site when the house was built. Green Lawn is an impressive place, great for memories. Perhaps with a little persuasion, one Mr. Fain would be convinced to break out the old tennis racket one more time. This is Dick Curtis at Large, Meridianville.